Hi, my collective. Welcome back. It's the Nutcase Case Nicole here on the Nutcase Network. Back again with the shenanigans. And today I have a message for the brokenhearted because I know there are a lot of people who are feeling brokenhearted right now. You guys are feeling a little down and maybe down on yourself as well. So I wanted to do a special message for you guys, hopefully to inspire you and to get you back on track, okay? Get you back to feeling like yourself. Remember, collective, these messages are general and they may not be for everyone out there. So go with what you know. And time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. As well as that, please do not take my word as law or bond. It is just how I'm feeling intuitively about the cards. Your situation may be different and you have the power of free will. So keep that in mind, okay? So I'm going to use the energy oracle cards because I haven't used these in a while so that we can find an inspirational message for you. And then I'm going to pull some tarot and other shit, you know, as always. So guardian angels, can you please tell me or show me the message that my collective needs to hear for the brokenhearted, for those who may be feeling down? What do they need to hear right now to inspire them or to keep them going on their journey because they're not feeling as great as they would like to right now what message do you have for them oh wow contract indecision and second chakra archangel area at the bottom healer of the ages wow i didn't know all those cards were gonna fucking come out like to be honest with you i really didn't so six eight 36 and 51. So 51, five plus one is six. Then you got six right here. And then you got 36. And six plus three is nine. Oh shit. I don't know, that's crazy. So the contract card number six is talking about partnerships and legal commitments, okay? It shows a contract in the background ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. Okay, this union may be a business deal, the sale of, of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than usually an agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if the legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities um so remain aware and receptive to what you may be to what may be coming your way okay indecision is what choice to make this card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in life it shows you anxiously looking at two roads wondering which would be the better choice yet you are standing still feeling confused by the up and down um emotions of your present indecision you could spend days, months, or even years in the back and forth energy, all of, all the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision creates a paralysis of will, one that can keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice. It's time to let you let go of analysis and self doubt and have been that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you. Consider which decision. Consider which direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice. And then number 36. Let me see, number 36. And I'm reading these for a fucking reason. So if you're impatient or you don't want to hear this, you just want to see tarot, then y'all already know. Kick rocks with no motherfucking shoes on. Fresh out the bathtub, okay? It says second chakra archangel Ariel, intimacy and creativity. The second chakra um, vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel, she sends a bright orange energy promenading, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with, into, with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others are nurturing yourself can, or nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You cannot open yourself to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive affection and com commandeer camaraderie, sorry, and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. Oh my God. So I had to read it to understand. I feel like you guys are trying to heal yourself with this healer of all ages card. You're trying to get yourself back on track, okay? What I'm feeling from this energy is that 
Um, you got out of a situation with someone. I feel like a lot of you got out of a marriage with someone who um, you're really... Let's see what sign this is while I'm talking. Um, that you, you maybe are going through divorce proceedings. Or maybe even if you weren't married, you just broke up with someone. And it really took a lot out of you. It's like you don't know where to go from here with this indecision card. But I feel like with this second chakra archangel area... You guys are being told that you're ready, you know, to move forward. Whatever residual pain or anguish that you're feeling from this situation, because I don't, I don't even, I, listen, listen, I'm not about to bullshit up in here, okay? Y'all have residual energy that you are fucking feeling about people who have done you dirty or done you wrong. And that's why I feel like I needed to do this video, because... A lot of people, like, deep down, I'm not saying anything is wrong with you trying to be strong, bro. That's not what the fuck I'm saying. Because we've all been in situations that was fucked up as hell. But at the end of the day, I see y'all comments. And I know that y'all still have residual energy. Even if you don't want to, it's like you're trying to push it away and heal yourself. But it's still causing you to be indecisive as to how you need to move forward. It's not that you know, it's it's not that you don't know that you need to move forward. You just don't know which direction to go in. And that is what's causing you to have this stagnancy or this lack feeling in your life. And this second chakra card is just telling you that you have all the tools that you need and that you just need to open up more either to your friends, to your family, or to maybe another love interest that's in your life. So what sign is possibly causing this for my collective so they can be aware oh pisces air and neptune what is neptune neptune is pisces get the fuck out of here so maybe it's a, a pisces with air in their chart that's causing you to feel like this or an air sign with pisces in their chart that's causing you to feel like this Let's do an angel answer card. And then I'm going to do the tarot too. Chill your asses out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all of you guys who are already supporting my channel. I appreciate y'all so very much. And I love you guys. I really want you guys to feel at peace. So, like, my messages are not just going to be petty shit all the time. Like, honestly, it's about healing. It's about self-reflection. It's about self-love, okay? So what answers do my collective need to see or hear regarding the situation on their mind when it's causing this issue? Wow, it says don't stop. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for my collective? For the brokenhearted who... Oh, shit. That's way too many. Can I get one more clearly, please, guardian angels, for my collective, for the brokenhearted? Wow. Don't stop and compromise. Oh, see? What did I tell you? Listen to your intuition. I told y'all that in the beginning. My word is not bond, okay? What I say ain't just always going to be what, what the fuck it is. This is just guidance. This is just a tool. Y'all know what y'all need to do, okay? So we're going to do all the oracles in the beginning. Let's do a romance angel. Because this is offering you insight. And you know what that other motherfucker is doing ain't helping you. And you trying to figure out what that other motherfucker is doing it's basically hindering your growth process. It's hindering your progression. It's stopping your manifestation. So if you really about your shit like how you say, and that motherfucker really don't phase you or have anything to do with your happiness like you say, you know, stop spying. I know it sounds stupid because I need subscribers and I'm that's what my I'm here for, but I'm not really here for subscribers or money. I'm here because I went through some fucked up shit and I understand that there's some times where you need guidance or you need some help as far as where to go. So just take the message. What romance angels do my collective need to see guardian angels in this situation? God damn. Okay, separation. So this is the reason for the issue. All these fucking cards came out. I'm not looking at all of these. We're going to put them back in there. So it's a separation, of course. What else? So time apart from your partners on the horizon. So if you're in a relationship and y'all are still together, still living together, you might be um, spending some time apart. It says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. So I feel like this is what this arc 
um, Archangel Ariel card is about. It said opening up. You're ready to open up. So I feel like you're getting new prospects. But yes, it says let go of control issues. You're trying to control it. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You can't force someone not to be in your energy. You can't force yourself not to think about someone. You have to get down to the nitty gritty of that dirty shit and figure out like in your mind what the problem is and move forward. You can't just push it aside. Wow, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like you guys are blocked. I really feel that from this energy in these cards. I feel like you guys are blocked. Okay. I feel like y'all are going through a separation from someone, possibly a divorce. And you guys are feeling blocked. You're feeling backstabbed. You're feeling upset about what this person may have done to you. But I feel like you're missing the point. I feel like there's um, still... Okay, see, the devil card, Capricorn energy, codependency, toxicity. Toxicity can be anything. It doesn't just have to be drugs or alcohol. It could be fucking watching too much fucking tarot. Or it could be damn, you know, being angry at this person and not letting it go, okay? Or, you know, acting like you didn't do no wrong in the situation when both parties, you know, had a part. It's all part of that shit. Okay, so guardian angels, can you show me a message for my collective who may be broken hearted? What do they need to know? Okay, so the Ten of Cups, that's beautiful. This definitely could have been a family situation. You could have had children with this person, had a marriage with this person. I really get the energy of someone who's been divorced or is getting divorced or someone who is about to separate and file. Also, this could be someone, some of y'all, you know what I said? You know how I say it, y'all. Husband, wife, baby mama, baby daddy, common law. Y'all were together for 10 years or more. 10 months or more even for some of you guys. Like this could definitely be a relationship that was something that you look forward to to get to this 10 of cups right here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Even if it wasn't, even if you guys weren't together for that long, you felt like you were really in love with this person. You felt like God had blessed you with a connection that would last a lifetime at this particular point. And I feel like that's where that's where a lot of your sadness or where a lot of your regret may come from. You thought this was going to be the love that was going to last a lifetime, but somebody like ran away with this Knight of Swords. Somebody, you know, dipped out on love or maybe you rushed into this connection as well because you felt so strongly about this person. Okay. What else do my collective need to know? My heartbroken collective. Yes, the star card, Aquarius energy. We have the air energy right here as well. So you're healing right now, collective. You're really trying to put the pieces back together. You're really trying to take some time to be zen, to be relaxed. Um, the Knight of Swords keeps being here. It's like you realize and you know your thoughts. You know that you need to move forward and you need to move forward fast. Because if you keep dwelling on this shit, it ain't going to take you nowhere. Wow. Ace of Swords, what did I tell you? It's like you know the truth. You know what you need to do. You know how you fucking feel. Y'all ain't finna sit here and bullshit me when I read these cards all the time for all these fucking signs. Y'all know the truth. And y'all know where you need. You, you know the direction you need to be going in. And I feel like you're doing a good job, Collective. I feel like you're working on healing. Okay, you're healing from this relationship. You're also, you're also trying to balance out your life. You feel like this connection was definitely divine. This person could definitely be very popular, okay? Or you guys also could have put this relationship on social media. Personally, I've decided that I'm never going to do that shit again. I'm not putting my shit on social media because it always seems to cause problems. But... This person definitely could have been in the public eye. They could have had some type of following or you could as well. But whatever the situation was, you guys were happy at one point And it's like, I feel like that's the lesson here is that you need to remember the happy times that you had with this person. The lessons that you learned with this star card and take it in stride. Take it in stride. Because if you keep talking about what this motherfucker did or how dirty they was, you ain't going to heal. You're not going to get nowhere. What else does my collective need to know? Mm, eight of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck in your head. You're doing a lot of um, contemplating, hashing, and rehashing shit. Because you feel trapped right now. 
you feel really trapped by the feelings that you have for this person. Y'all, I want to cry because it's not that I'm sad. It's just that, like, I know that you guys are struggling because you felt so much love for this individual. And it's like you were either... I feel like you were moving fast and they were moving slow. And you wanted to rush into this person and get the offer from them that you wanted. You wanted to be in that marriage. You wanted to be in that relationship. And maybe you guys just moved too fast. That's a lesson as well. You moved too fast before you even knew if it was really the person who you were meant to be with. Because I feel like that also comes from insecurities with this Eight of Swords. It's like you're trying to heal your insecurities right now. You're trying to figure out where you went wrong. And that's really fucking good. Like... That's how we heal. That's how we make better connections with people moving forward. Because you're trying to really get out of this trapped energy. That's what I feel. But it's like you feel like you're still stuck in it because there's still work to be done. Okay, what's the Ten of Cups? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. There was no balance here. Um, maybe you feel like this person... I feel like I'm getting the energy that this person could have controlled the money. Or they could have made you feel like you had to beg for their help. Um, beg for their time, attention. There was no balance in the situation. You felt like this person was giving to other people. Okay, damn. And then I said the Queen of Wands. You definitely could have been in a situation where you were in an entanglement. We don't have no threes. But the Six of Pentacles to me with the Ten of Cups is a card where someone was controlling. Look at how she stand. Look at how they got their hands out begging. Please give me some time. Get, can we? Can we please have some family time? Can we please get together and go to a movie can we go out to eat like when are you going to take me here when are we going to do this it's like that's kind of what you were doing throughout this relationship and there was no balance there was no equal give and take that's what i feel and with the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands being at the bottom of the deck sagittarius energy and the knight of pentacles is capricorn or taurus maybe i don't know but somebody was moving slow because you you feel like they were moving slow because they had you in an entanglement. They had somebody else that they were dealing with. And this, it just really upset you. It's like your intuition. What does it say? Listen to your fucking intuition. Y'all didn't listen to your intuition. And that's why you feel like you're trapped now because it's like you're in love with this person. But you know it ain't for you. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, Three of Wands. I know it. Three of Wands. You turned your back on this situation because it's like you were always waiting on this person. You were waiting on this person to tell you the truth with this Ace of Swords. You were constantly waiting on this person. It's like, I feel like you will wait from sun up to sundown. Sometimes this person will tell you they will come in the morning or they will come at like 12 in the afternoon. They wouldn't be there till five or they wouldn't be there till nine or they will make you wait all day long. Okay, and you, it's like you realize, yes, Empress Energy, Libra, bitch, collective, y'all realized your worth with this Ace of Swords and this Empress. You realize your worth, you realize you're better than this. What's the star card? You realize that you don't have to wait on this person, that, that this better out there for you. Temperance Energy, Sagittarius Energy again. Yes, this, look at this. This was a karmic connection, I feel, because you have the star card and the temperance card. I feel like this was a karmic connection, which urged you or prompted you. That's the better word. It prompted you, okay, to make um, to make proactive changes in your life to balance out your life. It was a divine connection. And you could have possibly been with somebody who was in the public eye or who was just very popular. This doesn't necessarily have to be someone who was in the public eye, public eye. I'm going to do the scoop deck afterwards. But it was somebody who was very popular and you always had to wait on them or you felt like, you know, their attention was always elsewhere. They were very well liked, but it's like they treated you, you know, like you could just wait on them all the time. Okay, and you know, you know that ain't you. You know you meant for something better than that. And that's what prompted you to have this spiritual awakening. And you have to you have to be strong in that collective. What's this temperance card? What's this temperance card? What's this temperance card? Oh shit. Damn, the fool, Aries, um, Aquarius energy. The eight of cups. 
you're trusting your intuition now, okay? You're listening to your intuition. You're, you're getting the message, Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. It's like, because you know your worth collective, because you realize how much control, because you realize that you need to get control over your life as well, you need to control your surroundings, you need to control who you allow in your life and who you don't. It's like now, okay, this connection may have been karmic, but it taught you how to trust yourself. It taught you how to enjoy the things you used to enjoy in life when you were more innocent and like, not to say you're not innocent now, but y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because when, at a time when you were free, at the time when you were, you, you were not, you know, caught in all of this um, negative thoughts and energy, it's like, you know what you need to do. And it's just like, it's teaching, this is the lesson, it's teaching you to always have your own fucking back and trust your own intuition before you allow someone else to take control of your life. And it's teaching you how to walk away from connections that may even feel like a soulmate connection. It's teaching you how to disconnect emotionally with someone is not giving the same as what you're giving. Like, look at this two of cups. This is what I'm getting from this. Is that this is a lesson to teach you that sometimes when your emotions are not being reciprocated collective, look at her handout. Two of Cups is just a conversation. Two of Cups is also a soulmate connection. Two of Cups is also like sharing thoughts and ideas with each other. However, in all of the Two of Cups, you will notice one person, one person is first of all dressed a little bit nicer and more in touch with their emotions because she's in the water. This is you. You wanted more of an emotional connection. This person is chill, laid back. They're not taking the connection seriously. Anybody who wear a fucking white dress and some tennis shoes, and they standing in the water like this in tarot to me, means that they're more formal or they're the person who is more, you know, serious about the connection. And it's like, you're trying to give, it's like this person is trying to, look, they got their hand out. They're the casual one. They wanted to be casual. And it's like, you're learning how to walk away from those situations where there's no equal give and take. Because look at her hand out. She ain't taking that shit seriously. She's not in touch with her emotions because she's standing on the dry ground more analytical, okay, more slow moving, okay, but kind of backing you into this, like what happens if she backs all the way into the beach? She gonna drown. In emotions, this person backs you into your emotions and makes you feel a certain way and just wants to keep on taking, taking, taking because they're hand out. And you're learning how to walk away from situations like that. You're learning how to be confident in yourself as well with this food cart. Okay, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, an Aries, a Sag, Pisces. Okay, what's the Eight of Swords? Oh, damn. The deck is backwards, bitch. Ha! Okay. What's the Eight of Swords? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, baby. Wow, yeah. The King of Wands could be Leo energy, Aries energy. I always see the King of Wands is, is Leo, but okay. Gemini as well. You you feel like what's what's holding you back though right now? What you what you can't stop thinking about is how this person manipulated you to get what they wanted. Okay, with this King of Wands and the magician. The magician is a manifester. They get what they want. They work hard to energetically like pull what they want from the universe down to themselves. And this King of Wands is someone who who definitely wants what they want and get what they want, whether it hurts somebody or not. You know, whatever they're passionate about, that's what they're going to go towards. Fuck the bullshit. So it's like, you feel like this person manipulated you just to get what they wanted, okay? And I feel like you think, you feel like you are trapped in those feelings of, I feel like self-doubt as well. Not just self-doubt, but also feeling kind of stupid. Honestly, that's what I get from this. Is like, you feel like you got played and you're like, how could I have let myself get played this way? But it's like, it's teaching you how to have self-worth. That's the blessing, you guys. It's teaching you how to how to let go of burdens, to move on, to end cycles that are too much on you or to end cycles that you're doing all the work in. This person made you do all the work, okay? What's this King of Wands and Magician? What's this King of Wands and Magician? And then we're gonna do... Yeah, it's like you realize that's what you... It's like now that you're having personal time to reflect... You don't feel the love for this person anymore, even if you do. Even if you do. You you feel the love for this person, but you know that this motherfucker did not have your best interest at heart. And they always tried to get... They always had to shortchange... You realize that they were always given to other situations. You know, you realize that you were being shortchanged. 
you realize that there was no balance in the situation and this person was trying to manipulate you. But at the end of the day, you got your back turned to the drama, baby. You got your back turned to the bullshit. And I feel like you need to remember that you are divinely connected to God, to your guardians, to, you know, whoever you believe in. And that you have the power to manifest anything, but you have to be truthful with yourself. Okay, so let's use these new hidden truth, hidden truth oracles, okay? Let me see what this person may want to tell you, but they're too afraid, they're too weak, or they just refuse. Let's see real quick, and then we're going to do a little scoop deck, and then that's going to be it. All right. One more time. One more time. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. I love y'all, and that's why I do these readings, because it's not just about being nosy, finding out what the fuck this motherfucker is doing. It's really about blessing yourself. Bless yourself, collective. I'm trying to bless you, collective. Bless your motherfucking self. Okay, what does this person want to tell my collective, but they refuse, or they can't, or they just don't? What messages do this person have? Wow, you came closer than anyone. So I feel like this, this, this is giving you solace, and this is giving you peace to know that you weren't the only person that this motherfucker played. You weren't the only person that this, that this person was using. Because they was a king of wands. They got their way. This was a player. This was a bald head hoe on viagra or like an older person i don't mean to be offensive to nobody but this was an older it, this was an old head y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about this was an old head that was an old player from the himalayas okay you came closer than anyone though you almost got him can i get one more can i get one more wow and they said i'm starting to understand our connection you change something in this person because this is divine. With this temperance and star card and the fool, this is what's pushing you to your spiritual awakening. This person pushed you to your spiritual awakening. Really, you should say thank you to this motherfucker because now you about to go on to some crazy shit. You about to be making a whole lot of connections. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm feeling kind of fucked up. Oh, shit. Y'all making a lot of connections. And you are about to realize the truth about what you need to be manifesting throughout this heartbreak. You're going to realize your worth. You're going to realize how to manifest. And you're going to realize how to bring what's truthfully yours into your life. I ain't used the Mystic B in so long. I kind of want to use Mystic B too. Hold on. Let me see what else this person might want to say. From Mystic B, darling. What does this person want to say from this Mystic B deck? Guardian Angels, please tell me the feelings of, on this person's mind for my collective. What do they want to say? Or what information can you provide? Damn, what did I say? What did I say? Karmic soulmate. I told you, their teeth, they're here for a reason. They really are here for a reason. You were supposed to be with this person. This person was supposed to do you dirty. They were supposed to break your heart. So... Just go on ahead and get out your head about the shit and move on and move, move. Use that energy. Use that fucking pent up fucking rage or bullshit to, to push you into what you need to do. Okay. Y'all know I love you. I don't be cussing y'all out just cause I'm an asshole. I do it cause y'all need to fucking wake the fuck up. They said, I visit you in your dreams. Exactly. Cause they can't let you go, but you got to let them go and they won't be able to visit you in your dreams. It said, please save a spot for me in your heart. Oh, my God. And it says, you are my destiny. So, listen, I know this is a message for the brokenhearted. And I know that I'm motivating you guys to move on. But just know that if you're meant to be with this person, y'all will be together. What's meant to be will be. My mother has passed on back in 05. But at the end of the day, she always told me, when you have lemons, you make lemonade. Okay? When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And whatever's meant to be is going to be. God cannot... Whatever God has for you cannot be taken by the common man, honey. Okay? <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. So let's see the scoop deck. Just because we're going to do a little bit of pettiness. Let's just see. Because you know, y'all know what the shits. <laughs> That's why you got to watch the video the full way through. <laughs> so can you show me what's going on in this person's life? Oh, wow. That flew out. Toxic family. So this one's dealing with... This person is dealing with a toxic family dynamic, either parents or 
whoever that Queen of Wands is that, that we saw. Because this King of Wands came out, but we also saw the Queen of Wands, okay, I feel like. And um, maybe this person has a wife or a spouse, husband at home. And it's just a toxic connection. And that's why they probably went astray to you if they did, if that's your situation. Because they were trying to get out of that shit, but they don't have enough mental fortitude and strength to be able to do to be able to heal their own shit okay what else is going on with this person submerged emotions yeah they're holding their emotions in they're not really saying how they truly feel of course oh wow that bitch flew out hidden truth someone's feelings are really deep but they are concealed that's submerged emotions hidden truth is you are hiding from your true self so this could be you guys too i ain't gonna lie it could be you guys but y'all are feeling confused. Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. And that person is feeling confused. Because y'all are both going through um, a, a journey. But if you're feeling confusion, you may need to speak to a therapist. Okay? So you may need to get some type of, like, literal help with this situation from a professional. Okay? What's this toxic family? Can you tell me more about this? Ooh, desires. Mmm, blackmail. Shit. And phases. So I feel like this person's marriage may be coming to an end or whatever family situation that they're going through. It's like they go through so many motions with this phases card. The phase will soon end. So I feel like they're coming out of some bullshit. That is a positive card. But I feel like the family dynamic is toxic because of whoever's desires. Okay. Someone's desiring you. Mm. So maybe this relationship that you guys had got back to the spouse and they're trying to blackmail them maybe child support blackmail alimony blackmail um just general um blackmail look we saw the star card so if this is someone in the public eye they could be getting blackmail from whoever they was dealing with talking about i'm gonna ruin your reputation even if it's not someone in the public eye this could be someone who owns a business someone who's um established who is getting blackmailed by the person they was with because they found out that they were desiring you that relationship about to be over though I feel like that relationship about to be over and you just need to relax. Like if this, if you want this person back, you just need to relax because somebody about to get kicked out. Eh, somebody may be getting kicked out the house. So you just need to relax. I wouldn't say let this person sleep on your couch or in your bed, motherfucker. Don't be stupid, collective. But I'm just saying, okay, what's this submerged emotions? Can you tell me more about submerged emotions? Wow, New Year's, something significant about this holiday. So this person may come forward and tell you, <coughs> or you may, <coughs> sorry, y'all. <coughs> you may find out something on New Year's, okay? What are, what are they going to find out on New Year's? Or tell me more about the submerged emotions. Wow. Catfish, someone is not who they appear to be. An altercation, physical altercation may break out. Wow. So what I'm getting first off the bat is that maybe, so this is crazy. I know this is really specific and it may not be for everybody out there, but it could be a prediction. So y'all come back and let me know what the fuck is going on. But I feel like this person um, is submerging their emotions, but that they may be caught up. I feel like this blackmail card has something to do with this catfish card. So, <clears throat> ta -ta -ta. so the person that they're with could blackmail them by using someone else you know what i'm saying to catfish them to try to catch them because maybe they didn't get any proof with y'all's relationship but i feel like the person who they're with is trying to get proof on this person that you're thinking about about them being unfaithful or cheating and i feel like they may get one of their friends to like set this person up and like dm them that's crazy but it's gonna cause a fight and that's why that motherfucker gonna get kicked out. Ooh! But it's gonna cause them to grow. <clears throat> so you may be seeing about this or hear about this through the grapevine. Okay, what's the hidden truth? Wow, angel numbers. So yeah, this hidden truth is about y'all. You may be seeing a lot of um, synchronicities at this time. Something that happened on Halloween that you need to really be grateful for. Maybe this, um, maybe you broke up with this person on Halloween or you called it quits with them. Maybe you kicked them out of your house. Maybe they had some shit at your house because you felt like they were codependent. You realized they were codependent. Ooh, and they go leveling up and celebrating, bitch. And people don't like it. People don't like that you leveling up collective and celebrating your, go your, your goals being accomplished, okay? 
But you definitely could have kicked this person out around Halloween and you're grateful now because you see how these motherfuckers acting in the streets and they were creating this toxic um, family dynamic with you and this other person who they were dealing with. But that's, they're not going to be able, with this phases card, they're not going to be able to keep up with this bullshit much longer. That's what I feel, collective. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this um, message. Let me do some yes or no questions. Y'all, let's do two yes or no questions then we're going to be done. Guardian Angels, can you please give me the answer to my collective's first question? Y'all get, get ready. Come on. Three, two, one. Ooh. The answer is no. Okay, let's get one more. Guardian Angels, can you please give me the answer to my collective's second question? Please. Okay, y'all ready? Three, two, one. Yes, y'all see it? Oh, let me move my finger now. Yes. All right, collective. That's all. That is it. That is it, darlings. I love you guys so much. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you guys, inspired you guys, and helped you guys move towards your path of healing. I really send all of my love and my prayers and blessings to you all and your family. Remember to stick to the positivity today. Like, share, and subscribe. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye. Mwah! And good fucking luck. <laughs>